Hey, Trinidad and Tobago, what's going on? What's going on? It's good to be back with you. Well, TNT, can it get any worse than this? I was sent about three articles from subscribers in Trinidad, and it's just terrible. But like I often say, all across the Caribbean, well, in Trinidad, Barbados, Guyana, uh, St. Vincent, uh, St. Lucia, Dominica, crime is just getting out of control. And so this morning, when the subscribers in Trinidad sent me this headline, I was taken aback. It's like 500 murder toll arriving in October. I mean, this is getting crazy. And then I saw this other headline, cop gone down in Santa Cruz. And then I saw this one, 3 million ransom demanded by fake cop. Can it get any worse than what is already happening in Trinidad? You guys will have to tell me. You have to leave your comments down in the section below and let me know what is really taking place down there because this is just too much. It's like really, really too much. I mean, check this out. Cop gone down, businessman, people are demanding ransom. I mean, it's, it's just getting from back to worse. And I am quite sure then had issues of people being kidnapped and stuff like that and asking for ransom. But when I see the headlines like 500 murder told by um, this October, end of October, it's just it's just getting crazy. But let's go to the first story anyway, because I mean, this is just absolute madness. It says 500 murder told arriving in October. With less than three months to go before the end of the year and 495 confirmed murders already recorded, senior police officers said yesterday the murder toll will cross the 500 mark in days. The latest incident was recorded yesterday morning when a man was found murdered near the a &R Robinson International Airport in Tobago. Executive members in the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service are hoping to prevent the murder toll from skyrocketing in the last quarter of this year and have enacted several operations and initiatives to combat this and to keep manage the toll especially in tobago remember we discussed this issue of crime and how the defense force was getting involved with the police because it's just getting a bit too overwhelming right it is hoped that these initiatives would prevent the murder toll from reaching its historic high of 605 killings in 2022. In 2023, 577 murders were recorded, the second highest toll recorded in the country. The third highest was recorded in 2008 with 550 murders. As of last night, 495 murders have been recorded for the year compared with 461 for the same period in 2023. In 2022, criminologist Dr. Sapasad predicted that the annual murder toll would climb to 710 by 2030 if action was not taken to deal with the societal and crime-related issues. Guys, this is bad. I've gone to Trinidad several times. I love Trinidad. Some nice beaches, some nice hangout spots. But we've got to get this crime under control. Cop gone down in Santa Cruz. I mean, you know, in the Caribbean years ago, when we talk about people getting killed, not a policeman. Maybe anybody else, but not a policeman. But it's gone so far. Police have no motive for the murder of Special Reserve Police Officer Jerome Blisdell. 32 years of age shot on saturday night and what the police is really saying here is that he and the 25 year old friend had exited the supermarket along the eastern main road and were about to enter a nissan b15 park car on the road and a white toyota aqua car pulled up next to them and the occupants of the vehicle opened fire on the b15 so the officer and his friend were hit about their bodies the assailants then drove off police of course were notified and the paramedics and the team of officers arrived and responded to the scene of course the two injured men were taken for medical treatment the officer was pronounced dead at the eric williams medical sciences complex in mount hope the 25 year old victim was seeking treatment at a private institution was in stable condition last night so that's the other individual that was with him and i saw this other story where people demanding ransom, $3 million ransom demanded by fake police.
The central Trinidad businessman was kidnapped on Saturday night by men dressed in what appeared to be police tactical wear. The victim was Suvish Ramnarain, 33, of Konopia. He's the owner of Costura Trading in Warrenville. Police said around 7.30 p.m., Ramnarain was at Rob's Bar along Southern Main Road in Konopia. Five men all dressed in black short sleeve jerseys with the word police written in white at the back entered the bar. The men who had firearms announced that they were police and approached Ramnarain was seated alone at a table at the time. The men instructed Ramnarain to come with them and he was placed in the black Tuscan SUV parked outside. At least two of the men entered Ramnarain black Toyota Pardo, which was parked outside. The two vehicles then drove onto the southern main road and proceeded in opposite direction. People at the bar contacted the police, of course. I mean, if you see police going one way and somebody vehicle going the other way, it can't be police. And um, of course, they contacted the, the police station and informed officers that they believe Ramnarine had been kidnapped by men pretending to police. Then you had a team of officers who responded to that and they were directed to the home of the victim whose mother informed them that she had just received a call indicating that her son had been kidnapped and a ransom had been demanded. And so the officers were told what was going on. They notified the anti-kidnapping unit when police did not want to officially confirm the amount demanded by kidnappers. The express was informed by national security sources that three million had been demanded for his return. I mean, if you if someone come into a bar or into a supermarket and they have guns, they're just like police, they have police uniform, your first instinct is to say, well, I guess they are genuine police officers. If they demand you go outside, you may ask them, well, what is the reason? They may tell you something and you may go outside thinking it's genuine officers. And then that is the end of you. This is really, and that is a trend that has been taking place in Trinidad for a while. I'm not sure when they would get that situation under control. And I believe that very soon, maybe, I don't want it to happen in other Caribbean islands, but it could take place. But it's a serious problem. And guys, we need to get this thing under control. But leave your comments in the section below. Let me know what's taking place really with this situation with crime in Trinidad and why it's going getting out of control like that. All right? See you in the next podcast.